Today we're gonna unbox Wacom Intuos's Bluetooth tablet and see how to use it on Linux Mint. For your reference, this is Wacom model CTL4100WL, a basic tablet with Bluetooth and USB connection. Let's see what is inside the box. Of course the tablet. The pen. Uh, USB cable and the manual. The tablet is of course small, 0.6 inch writable area. The pen doesn't have a razor, but there are some extra tips if you remove the back cover. First comes why I went with a Wacom tablet. As a Linux user, I find Wacom products more compatible with Linux than any other tablets. Of course on Amazon you can find other cheaper brands, but I doubt uh, how well they can play with Linux. So. I stayed with uh, Wacom and I do recommend other Linux users to consider Wacom if you are looking forward to have uh, better support. However, uh, I recommend you to check if the tablet you are looking forward to buy is listed uh, in the list of supported devices. The link is available down below in the description. Once connected using the USB or Bluetooth, the tablet works as expected. Cinnamon uh, desktop environment has a tool called Graphics Tablet to configure the tablet. I don't see such a tool on elementary OS, so if your Linux distribution doesn't have such a tool, you may be limited to the command line tool uh, called Xset Wacom. I'll talk about the tool later. Though Wacom is a widely supported tablet on Linux, I had a couple of issues when connecting it with my Linux Mint computer. The graphics tablet crashed if the tablet is connected using USB, but surprisingly it works with the Bluetooth connection. To fix the problem, run the libwacom list local devices command to get the USB ID. Search this ID in the user share libwacom folder. If there is a matching file uh, with the same USB ID, replace the styly value by the styly value you get from the libwacom list local devices command output.
In addition to that value, you need to have an extra value to get it working. That is 0x 4 times f followed by an e. Then open the graphics tablet, it should work now. Uh, if not, restart the computer and see, most likely it will work. In my case, the graphics tablet wasn't able to change the tracking mode. So I had two options, either using the command line tool exit Wacom to change the mode, or installing the driver from the source code. To control the device using exit Wacom, run the list devices command first to get the um, connected device names and the IDs. Also run the list parameters command to get the supported parameters. Then you can set the value using the device name and the parameter. For example, here I am changing the tablet mode from absolute to relative using this uh, Excel Wacom tool. The second option is installing the latest Wacom driver from the source code. Because uh, the official Ubuntu report does not uh, work on Linux Mint 20, I don't know why. Uh, and even if it works, it may be older, so I want to have the latest driver. But I recommend it only if you have serious issues with your Wacom device. In my case, after installing the latest driver, the first trick I just explained to get the graphics tablet to detect the device didn't work. So I am repeating it again. Install the latest driver only if you have any serious usability issues. For example, uh, if your tablet is not detected at all, go ahead and try the latest driver. But if the tablet is working fine and if you can leave with the Excel Wacom tool, I don't recommend installing the driver. To be on the safe side, always create a time shift recovery point or, or use whatever the backup tool you are using before installing the driver. In my case, I didn't face any issues, but I usually create a recovery point before installing anything that may affect the Linux kernel. To install the driver manually, you need to install three different software. Input Wacom, XF86 Input Wacom, and uh, LibWacom. Again, don't worry about these URLs. Links are given down below in the description, so you can just uh, click and open them. Download the latest uh, tar.bz2 packages of each of these projects and extract them. Then follow the links for the installation instructions and install the dependencies first.
run the command given to build and install all these packages. After installing all of them, restart the computer and your tablet should work now. In my case, after installing the driver, I can control the tablet mode from the graphics tablet tool, but as I mentioned earlier, it works now only with the Bluetooth connection. I couldn't get it working using the USB connection and uh, I don't mind uh, sticking with a Bluetooth connection. Finally, let's have a quick tour of the graphics tablet tool. Using this, you can control the tablet mode uh, so in absolute mode, uh, treat the tablet as a scaled down representation of your monitor. So here I'm writing on the top left, top right, bottom left and bottom right corners of the tablet. So uh, as you can see on the screen, also uh, it's written on top left, top right, uh, bottom left and bottom right corners, right? Let's change the mode to relative, uh, which is relative to the cursor means uh, you can start writing anywhere on the tablet but it will write on the screen where you have your cursor right now again i'm uh, writing on the top left top right bottom left and bottom right corners of the tablet so as you can see uh, they are written relative to the cursor You can also configure the tablet buttons and the buttons of the pen uh, to send a keystroke or mimic a mouse click or any other custom function. Here I am setting the first two buttons of the tablet to send uh, undo and redo keyboard shortcuts and the pen buttons to perform left and right mouse clicks. Uh, the tip pressure field determines the line width um, well, or how harder the line is going to be. The softer the tip, the darker the line is. Coming to the conclusion, how does Wacom Intuos feel? To be honest, this is my first tablet, 
so i think i had to get used to it uh, so i cannot comment on uh, that aspect but the tablet of course looks uh, solid and that's what it is supposed to do for the price i think it's a good investment uh, for a starter but uh, if your budget allows uh, go for a bigger one if you stayed this longer i hope you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more videos on linux coding and tech